when you create labels in Access, it automatically will increase or decrease as you delete records from the table source. So in this example, if I open the table, there's the table. So at the moment, there's six people in that table and I've already created a label. If I open that, you can see that there are six people there. Now, if I close that down and go and add a new person, so just add a new person, then black, just one red road leads, LS1, let's see that'll do. Join today, date of birth 21081916900, not 1900. 1999. So there's a new person. Close the table down, open the label, and there he is down the bottom there. So this list will grow or shrink depending whether you add or delete records. Now, there's two ways that we could do this to do labels in Access itself, which is what that is, or send it into Word and do a mail merge. And the same thing applies. If you add records, it will increase. If you delete records, it will decrease. So welcome to this video guys. My name's Steve and that's what I'm going to cover in this little session. So I'm going to delete this one first off, get rid of it, delete. So you need to start on the table that you want to do the labels on and then it's create. Over in the reports group you've got labels as an option there. You click on that, it's picking up this one as the default but you might have to change this list um, because when you buy labels, sticky labels from different shops, staples or wherever you get them from, they all have their own different numbers on. You can actually customize a label and set it up yourself. You don't want to do that. So I'll close that. So I'm going to pick that one, follow it through. Next, there's a font size. You might have to reduce the font or increase the font if you don't like the end product. Next. So this is where you populate the label. So I don't want the staff ID. So I want first name. So I'm just going to double click on first name. I'm doing a space and then surname, double click. Pressing enter and then I want address, double click, enter. And then you see I'm coming down to the bottom of the label now. So I need to put these two on the same row. Double click on city, do a space. Double click on postcode like that. Follow it through. Do you want any sorting to be done? Not bothered. Next. And then you give it a name. And I'm not going to name it either. So I'll just go finish and it'll keep that name. And then you can see the labels sitting there. And if I did somebody else on that table, it would appear there. And then you can just print this off um, to do, and then peel off the sticky labels. Sometimes when you're doing this and you, you've set this up and you think it's all right, when you do print it off, Sometimes these get chopped and it means you need to adjust the label style that you've picked. So that's the first one that's in access. The other way of doing it is to send it into Word to do a Word mail merge, which is on this tab, external data and then Word merge. If that's grayed out, it's probably because you're not clicked on a table or a query. So if I click on that, it comes up with this little wizard. If you've already got a document you can use, you leave that option open, but I'm going to create a new one. So click OK to that. And then it should open Word, and then you can do the Word merge. So there's Word, it's opened it. I'll make this full screen for a second. So what we've got here is the list of options. So I want it to be labels. Now, when you do that in Word, it gives you lots of options. Now, I've previously scrolled down to this option because it's a sort of niche one, uh, the, the paper print version that I've got, this matches it closest, it's not exact. But again, you've got details there. We can see this is three across, seven down, and that's the width of it, and you can adjust this if you need to. Or you can create your own from scratch in Word. Cancel that one. New, new label. That's okay, I've picked that, and I'm just, everything's okay there, so I'm going to click okay. Now, I've just got a blank piece of paper, which isn't very helpful, but what you've got in Word is, if I go to this option, you see 
the list that's coming from access if i just make that a bit bigger that's the data from access so this has joined the word document and then what i've got to do is either use this address block as an option or individually insert the fields into this first box and then update everything and it'll just change these so i am i am going to use the address block because it's already pre-populated in, in some sort of format that I, I like and it would suffice for this little video. Click OK of that. It drops it in, address block, and then next record. Now, can't see anything there. To see it, you have to go preview. And then you can see that's the first one. But obviously none of the rest. I need to update all the rest of the labels so you can see everybody in there. Now, I will need to save this for this to be updated. If I add a new record in Access, it will come through and appear in this list when I reopen it. But the same format is available either in Access or Word. The label types you can set up and either way it will work and you can generate your labels. So that's all I want to talk about on this video. Hopefully it was of use to you. Thank you for your time and don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.